was the day that I was coming together for Tony. That was the one we were. I was speaking through the video and I did something to say, it's really, you just saw what you did to me. And then I just thank you for it. Amen. 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 I just want to thank everyone for joining us this morning, amen. Amen. This morning we're going to be coming from, we're diving back into 1 Samuel, amen, chapter 28, amen. Still on that journey with Saul and you know, the people that he affected, amen, by his decision, amen. So we're going to dive into the word this morning, amen. 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 This morning we're going to come from. from, from Verses 20 through 25 of 1 Samuel. We're going to first start by reading. We're going to read verses 20 through 25. The word reads, And Saul fell straightway all along on the earth, and was sore afraid because of the words of sin. And there was no strength in him, for he had eaten no bread all the day or all the night. And the woman came unto Saul and saw that he was sore troubled, and said unto him, Behold, I have obeyed thy voice, and I have put my life in my hand, and I have hearkened to thy words, which thou speakest unto me. Now therefore I pray thee, hearken though also to the voice of thy handmaid. Let me set a morsel of bread before thee, before thee, eat, that thou mayest have strength, and thou goest on thy way. Sound like a nice one. Mm. But he refused and said, I will not eat. And his servants, together with him, compelled him to be hearkened to their voice. So he arose from the earth and sat upon the bed. And the woman had a fat cat in the house, and she hasted to kill it, and took flour and kneaded it. And did bake under the bread thereof. And she brought it before Saul, before his servants, and they did eat. And they arose up and went away that night. So the man was going to live this until he did his word. Amen. 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 The last time I was before you, we were discussing Saul and sort of his, what, you know, what he was deciding to do, this sort of journey, but feeling abandoned. By the Lord, seeking sort of alternate means and ways to sort of hear His voice, but to get guidance. And that's how He sort of you know met you know this nice sounding woman that you just read. She sounded like she was being helpful, you know, that had sort of those familiar spirits that you know, heard about those psychics or you know, witches. You know. Now at you know at this point, you know Saul. As we read that, that first um, verse that we read, verse 20, you know, where it says, He fell straight away all, all along on the earth and was sore afraid. And Saul, he's at this point, he's in this, this dark place. And it's because of his disobedience. And you know, he's he's feeling alone. He's, you know, in his darkness, he's losing strength because it might, it might have been because he had you know, was fasting or because of what he had just experienced, but you know, at this point he's in this dark place, he's, you know, he's by himself, he's trying to find ways you know, to get guidance or direction of what he should do. Amen, but as we now um, show you in, in, um, in reach 1 John um, chapter 2, verse 11, you know, where it talks about you know, darkness. And then there's, where 1 John chapter 2, verse 11, where it reads, but he had but he that had hated his brother in his darkness and walked in darkness and knoweth not whether he goeth, because that darkness had blinded his eyes. Mm -hmm. Well, at this point, Saul, he is blinded. Mm -hmm. She is blinded by what he wants to do. As we you know, said, put your child for what he's doing you know, what's right in his own eyes. Mm -hmm. So he's blinded by that. Amen. Mm -hmm. Because we know a lot of times we are blinded by you know, the things in our lives. We are blinded by you know, um, money. Mm -hmm. Amen. We're blinded by money. We're blinded by these, you know, the flesh. Amen. The, the things that we sort of do with every single day in our lives. We're blinded by that. 
And so you know, a lot of us has experienced that, amen. Mm -hmm. You know, we sometimes are blind about love. Amen. Mm -hmm. We have to lots we have to thank God for you know you've gone through that. And you're sort of on the other side. We have to you know thank God for allowing us to see the light. Mm -hmm. And not allowing us to be able to get testimony and say, hey, like you know, you know, I've heard you know Pastor say and others say that you know, what we used to do. Right. A lot of times we are blinded during those times. Mm -hmm. you know, thank the Lord for allowing us to get through. Amen. Because we know God is the light. Yes. So it allows us to see the light. We get into His Word, we start to study the Word, it allows us to see what we had, what, how we were like. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord for that. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. I was like to you know, go back to, as I was saying, that, that woman that sounded good. Amen. She sounded like she was being comfortable. You know, going back to that, you know, verse 22. She said, hearken unto thy voice of the handmaid. You know, she wanted him to eat so that he could go, go as it says in that verse, and thou go into thy way. She wanted him. She wanted him to have that strength. It may sound, it may have sounded nice that like she was being helpful, but in actuality, if you you know read that and actually looked at that, you know, the bong of bong of bong this in Samuel, she was just trying to get him out of her house. Mm -hmm. She knew that you know what was going on wasn't Good if, if he stayed there any longer and might have passed away, she would have been in trouble. <laughs> Someone would have came looking for him and found her and knew that she had a reputation. Mm -hmm. Amen. So it sounded nice like she was being helpful feeding them and you know, helping them get you know get that strength so she he could move and you know have that good strength, but she was doing it for her reasons, not 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 to be helpful to him, not to sort of be a good person to him, but just you know seeing that you know. As you know, she has stated, we have stated before in our previous, you know, previous before you that you know, she knew that she wasn't liked by some. You know? mm -hmm. She wanted to get him out of the way, get him out of her house. You know? So now, you know, at that, as I say, at that point, you know, he saw was you know, had been fast and we were traveling. And you know, as we realize that sometimes we're in the, the weak moments. God may put us, you know, put us in a place where we have to sit down. We have to, we we'll feel it. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Sometimes there's a reason for that. Amen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's a lot of times, we, as I said, we experience those, those troubled times, those, you know, these dark times, those dark moments. God might have set you down, might have brought you in a church or had someone in your life told you to sit down. Mm -hmm. Told you to realize, what are you doing? You know, I had an experience with my, you know, somebody in my family where you know, they were blinded by basically the flesh. You know, the, as we say, we're, we're weak to the flesh sometimes. We're, as, as my wife always says, we're not, you know, those, those spirits that we fight with, that flesh that we fight with. So, and I like, give you an example my, as I would say, the person in my family who was giving him, trying to encourage him, trying to get him to go the right path, focus on what he needs to focus on. Mm -hmm. But he was blinded by his heart, blinded by, you know, you know some things that he thought he wanted. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times that we stay you know, get this up when people are you know on the side of the road and they have be drunk, maybe you know, have um, liquor problems or you know, different things like that. Sometimes they have to go through it on, on their own. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you know, you know, we we like to be that helpful person to as as she was you know possibly doing at that time, be helpful, give us get somebody some food, they get somebody some money, tell them they need help, tell them you know, you know what they're going through, but sometimes you just don't know what they're going through. Mm -hmm. And then we have to realize that sometimes we can't be that to that person that can help them. They have to be, you know, be on that um, that that hard time sitting down or you know feeling weak, feeling you know blinded, feeling lost, not not knowing who to turn to, who to go to. But as you know, God has his time he's going to. If they if they are a believer and they want that, you know, that strength, want that that that, um, that turn around their life, sometimes it's up to them to do it. Mm -hmm. And as we know with Saul, he had his many opportunities you know, to turn his life around, mm -hmm. his many opportunities to repent. And then, but as as we always say, the Lord knows our heart. Mm -hmm. So a lot of times that, that was, you know, we have those, you know, those individuals, as I stated, who are, you know, they see them as being homeless, see them as being, you know, Maybe battling those demons, and then they they have to at some point in their lives sort of take accountability. At some you know, in some cases, they realize 
because it's up to them to to repent or give their life over to the Lord or go to somebody that can help them turn their lives around. Amen. Amen. Get to, and sometimes we like to, as I said, we get in the way. And that may be that may not be God's time. But we, you know, try to hey, feed somebody or hey, come come you know, if, you, if you need a place to live, you stay with me. Mm-hmm. And that's we have to realize that you know timing is everything. Amen. Sometimes, you know, as I say, God will put you on your quest. We have to realize, you know, when you're dealing with things in your life, God is God has a reason for that. Amen. Amen. He may be showing you something that you need to see. Say so. And that's what was happening in these verses. In the phone. God was showing him, showing Saul something that he needed to see, something he had already seen, something that had, had already been told to him. He, Saul was looking for direction. Saul was looking for something as you know, something that he needed to be. But as, the, as I said in our previous you know, discussion, Samuel spoke to him. But Samuel didn't tell him what he needed to do. Mm-hmm. He told him what was going to happen. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's, That's right. Have to, like, you, you have these multiple mm-hmm. opportunities in your life to make changes, to make corrections in your life, to, as I said, repent. But when you realize that it's too late, well, we have to realize that we have these plenty of opportunities to make these changes. And so I think, well, from my you know, belief, when Saul was you know, feeling so afraid, as it stated in verse 20, because of the words of Samuel, he realized it was too late. Mm-hmm. He had, he had, he was, he, I believe he wanted to just lay there and die because he knew it was too late. Mm-hmm. And we have to realize that you know, with these opportunities in our life, we don't want to wait until it's too late. Amen. Amen. We don't want to, you know, go, we don't want to, you know, die and, you know, have that that last discussion with the Lord. And I would, I would want to reference Matthew verse 7, or chapter 7. Amen. I believe it Matthew chapter 7, verse 22 to 23, where it says, Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not perfect for Christ in thy name? Mm-hmm. Prophesize in thy name, and in thy name have cast out devils, and in thy name do not do many wonderful works. And 23. And then will I profess unto them, Mr. Lord speaking, I never knew you. Mm-hmm. Depart from me, he that worked in me. So just as Saul, he was he was an anointed one. He was mm-hmm. a I, I, I say a semi-believer. Mm-hmm. He, he wasn't, you know, fully thrust into the word, thrust into that, you know, that faith. So, you know, speaking on those those verses twenty two, twenty three, we don't, we don't want to wait till it's too late. We want we don't want to act in front of others like we or that righteous person, Amen. but no, Amen. you know, behind closed doors and in the dark, we don't need. Amen. Mm-hmm. Amen. Amen. Because we always say, if you're not ready, get ready. Yeah. 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 Amen. That's right. Realize that you know you're going through the, the Lord pushes through these tests, these trials and tribulations. He's trying to get you ready. Mm. All right. Amen. Amen. So Amen. When you realize you're going through those trials and tribulations, you get through it. I said before you go on the other side of that darkness. You end up like you're seeing and you know studying the word, getting that as you said, getting that relationship, building that relationship with the Lord, mm-hmm. seeing the light. Amen. You have to realize that you know that the time is now. Mm. All right. Don't wait till it's too late. As I said before, you know, time is everything. And then, you know, God's time is not our time. Amen. That's right. Amen. So we can't wait till our time to try to be right. That's Thank what you. that's what Saul was doing at this particular time. He he you know, believes he's you know in moments doing the right thing, saying the right words, but as we know he's he's a liar. All you know, right. So he, <laughs> plain and simple, he's a liar. He, he tries to fool you, he tries to fool. No fool of humans, mm-hmm. but you don't know, can't fool the Lord. Amen. Lord. Amen. That's Amen. right. That's right. So we have to you know, realize that you know, these, these things that we go through, as I stated, that it's, it's a test, and we're getting, you know, if you, if you make it through it with that testimony, you know, you can know that it, it, 
Lord puts on your heart, you realize that well, that the time is now mm -hmm. to give your life to the Lord. Amen. To turn your life over to you. As we stated in you know, the promise of this morning, when you're going through different things, you have those you know, little tests in school that you, know, you may come up against people who don't you know, try to test your, your, your beliefs, your, your way of thinking, your, you know, the person that you are. They try to test the person that you are so that you can you know, turn over and you know, do what they want you to do. But they realize this, we're not doing things for, we're not trying to please people. Mm. Say so. Mm. Try to please the Lord. Amen. Amen. And as I was saying, Saul, he's, he's re, he, re, he has refused the Lord. Mm -hmm. And he realized that it's time to late. Yes. And you know, people, you know, as I said, people are trying to, on the, on, on the outer shell, look like they're helping them, getting them to get them up, up on the speed. But look, as we, as we know, that's all tonight. Amen. So we have to again realize our time is not God's timing, and that listen, take heed to the word, and we have that opportunity, you know, confess. Mm -hmm. That's right. Amen. 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 And we go back to Leo's first John. Speaking on what Saul is so dealing with this time, where it reads, you know, if we say that we have fellowship with him and walk in darkness, we lie. We do Amen. Not know that we do not know the truth. Amen. So that's that's what Saul he's that we realize when we, you know, the people around us. Amen. They you know we have opportunities and have you know that God gives us that insight to see the lives in our lives. Mm. See those those people who try to you know, speak the word of God, but on the other side, they, they're doing different things. And we saw, you know, read in the Bible this morning, you know, there's without, you know, faith without action, if you, we're talking to the game, That's right. but if your, your action don't back it up, Come on. what are you actually saying that actually doing? Amen. Who are you actually following? That's right. So, the, you know, I'll state that, you know, the time is now that we, we turn our lives around. You have the opportunity if you or if you're here, you know, you know, hearing me speak or or live, you're hearing the words that are you know, coming forth. The time is now, so you have to you know, take heed to that and realize that we have promised oh, tomorrow, we're not promised. That's, That's right. right. That's right. That's right. The next hour is not promised. Mm. That's right. right. When you get up, you know, leave your house and you may not make it back home. That's right. Amen. I can leave, you know, this you know, open, you know. This afternoon, they may not make it back. That's Amen. Your whole family may you know, be gone. Amen. So if you're in church, you know, the Lord is speaking to you, saying the time is now, and you haven't given your life over to God. He's saying the time is now. Mm -hmm. And then so we have to realize that we don't have many opportunities. And that's what Saul is realizing at this point. That's right. His opportunity has passed. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. So when your opportunity is passed, there's no sort of going back. And I used to think or you know try to sort of, sort of rationalize, you know, when I was looking at, you know, reading the word, you know, seeing seeing different things, seeing people be saved and you know, turn turn their, uh, their lives around at you know different points in their lives. And then some people don't get the opportunity. Mm -hmm. You don't want to wait, as I read um, Matthew, you, you wanna don't want to wait till you're in front of the Lord, in front of Jesus and Read your history. Mm -hmm. Talk to you about your history, what you did, you know, what you said, what you did. Because if you're in front of the Lord, it's too late. <laughs> Amen. So you have to realize that time is now. And I just want to you know, you know, stress that that when we have the opportunity to do right, Amen. Amen. as you say, take, take that mm -hmm. opportunity. Amen. That's right. You have the opportunity to turn your life around to you know, make a wrong right. You know, take the opportunity to do that. Because mm -hmm. right. we're, you know, like I said, we're not here forever. Amen. 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 So, I'm not, you know, what, the things you have on the earth won't take what you're doing. Amen. On the That's what it will last. Take, Amen. Take that. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. 
those who are you know, sitting at the times now, you know, who have the opportunity to do those things, take the opportunity.